Has Canon's next big APS-C camera just been leaked? The photography world is buzzing with rumors and we can't ignore them. If the leaked specifications hold true, we may see a new powerhouse that could shake up the market. But is it really the upgrade we've been waiting for? We're diving deep into the details, analyzing what this means for photographers and discussing both the excitement and concerns surrounding this supposed release. So let's talk about what we've heard so far. According to multiple reports, Canon's upcoming APS-C camera is expected to feature a 24.1 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor. That may not sound like a huge deal at first, but a stacked sensor typically means faster readout speeds, reduced rolling shutter, and improved performance in low light. On top of that, it's said to be powered by a Digic X processor combined with a Digic accelerator. If this is accurate, we can expect snappy autofocus, better image processing, and higher efficiency when capturing high-speed shots. One of the most exciting features being discussed is its video capability. The rumored support for 6K RAW video recording and 1 to 20 frames per second 4K shooting suggests that Canon is catering not just to photographers, but to serious videographers as well. This is a significant leap in video performance, especially for an APS-C camera. A new body design is also mentioned, but no concrete details on what that means yet. Will it be more compact? Will it have better ergonomics? We'll have to wait and see. Another interesting addition is the high-speed continuous shooting of 30 frames per second. That could be a noteworthy advancement for sports and wildlife photographers who rely on fast burst shooting to capture split-second moments. There's also mention of support for C-Log2 and C-Log3, which means more flexibility in color grading for filmmakers. Additionally, the inclusion of a full-size HDMI port is a welcome surprise since many mirrorless cameras still use smaller, less durable ports. And then we come to the price, $1,500. It's not cheap, but is it worth it? That's the real question. If this leak turns out to be true, it suggests that Canon is taking APS-C cameras seriously again. For a while, it seemed like full-frame mirrorless models were their main focus, but this could indicate that Canon wants to remain competitive in the high-performance crop sensor market. The combination of a stacked CMOS sensor, Digic X processor, and high-speed capabilities hints at a camera built for action, which means sports and wildlife shooters may be the primary target audience. For videographers, this camera might offer a serious alternative to Canon's pricier full-frame models. The ability to shoot in 6K RAW is something usually reserved for higher-end cinema cameras, and pairing that with 1 to 20 frames per second, 4K is a great move. If Canon gets the overheating and rolling shutter under control, this could be a big win for hybrid shooters who want high-quality video without going full-frame. But let's be realistic, this camera needs to prove itself before we get too excited. If Canon doesn't get the autofocus right, or if there are limitations like severe cropping in 4K modes, then it may not be as great as it sounds on paper. And then there's the question of dynamic range. Will the new sensor improve Canon's shadow and highlight retention? Or will it have the same limitations we've seen in previous models? These are things we'll only know once we see real-world tests. This is where things start to get a little questionable. While everything we've heard about this camera sounds promising, the one detail that raises eyebrows is the sensor resolution. Canon's R7 series already features a 33.2 megapixel sensor, yet this rumored camera is said to have a 24.1 megapixel sensor. That's a big downgrade in terms of resolution, and in a market where competitors are pushing higher megapixel counts, this seems like a risky move. Other brands like Sony and Fujifilm are already offering APS-C cameras, with 32 megapixel and even 40 megapixel sensors. Sony's Alpha, 6700, and Fuji's X-T5, for example, both offer higher resolutions without compromising on speed. Even some of the more budget-friendly models, like Sony's ZV-E10 II and Fuji's X-M5, come with high-resolution sensors. So why would Canon take a step back? There's speculation that this decision is being made to prioritize speed and noise performance, Lower megapixels can mean better low-light sensitivity and faster processing, 
which could make sense if Canon wants to create a high-performance sports and wildlife camera. Despite some concerns, there's a lot to be excited about here. Canon is clearly investing in performance, and that's always a good thing. A stacked CMOS sensor is a big deal. It's something we usually see in high-end flagship cameras, and if it's implemented well, it could lead to major improvements in speed and image quality. The Digic X processor and accelerator combo should also ensure that this camera handles complex processing tasks efficiently, whether it's high-speed photography or 6K video recording. Another area where Canon is making a smart move is video. The inclusion of 6K raw recording and 120 frames per second 4K could make this one of the best APS-C cameras for hybrid shooters. Canon's color science is already widely praised, and with support for C-Log2 and C-Log3, video shooters will have more control over their footage in post-production. The full-size HDMI port is another thoughtful addition, making external recording and live streaming much easier. For action shooters, the 30 frames per second burst mode will be a huge advantage. That's as fast as some of the most advanced full-frame cameras on the market. Combine that with Canon's autofocus system, and this could be a serious tool for sports and wildlife photographers. Of course, nothing is perfect, and there are a few concerns we can't ignore. The biggest issue, as we mentioned, is the sensor resolution. If Canon sticks to a 24.1 megapixel sensor, it will have a tough time convincing users who are hoping for an upgrade. Another concern is the rolling shutter. Stacked sensors help. But if Canon doesn't improve its electronic shutter performance, we might still see distortion in fast-moving subjects. Price is another factor. At $1,500, this camera isn't exactly budget-friendly. If Canon doesn't deliver top-tier performance in every aspect, some users may opt for competitors offering higher resolution at a similar price. And then there's battery life. If all these advanced features drain power quickly, that could be a deal-breaker for professionals who need a camera that lasts. Canon has remained silent about this leak, which isn't surprising. They rarely comment on rumors, and we probably won't get an official confirmation until they're ready for a big reveal. But if this camera really is the Canon R7 Mark II, we have some expectations. First and foremost, an upgraded sensor would help it stay competitive. A 24.1 megapixel resolution might be fine for speed, but in 20 to 25, a bump to 32 megapixels or more would be ideal. We also hope Canon focuses on autofocus improvements, making sure tracking and subject recognition are faster and more reliable. Another big factor is battery life. If this camera is targeting action photographers and videographers, it needs to last long enough for extended shooting sessions. Overheating has been an issue in some Canon models, so we hope they've found a way to manage heat efficiently, especially for 6K RAW recording. And let's not forget about price. At $1,500, it should offer enough value to make users choose it over competitors. If Canon gets everything right, sensor, speed, battery and video performance, this could be a strong contender in the APS-C world. But until we see real-world tests, we'll be cautiously optimistic. At the end of the day, this rumoured Canon camera sounds exciting, but it also comes with a few uncertainties. If the leaks turn out to be accurate, we might be looking at a seriously capable APS-C camera designed for speed and video performance. Features like 6K raw recording, high-speed shooting, and an improved processor make it sound like a powerhouse. However, one lingering concern is the 24.1 megapixel resolution. If Canon truly intends to position this as an R7 Mark II, a lower resolution sensor might not sit well with those expecting an upgrade. With competitors offering higher megapixel counts, Canon has to ensure that speed and image quality make up for it. There's also the question of whether overheating or rolling shutter issues will appear. Canon has had challenges in this area before, and users will be paying attention to how well this camera handles intensive tasks. Until we get official confirmation, all we can do is speculate and see how Canon responds to these growing expectations. So that's all about the upcoming Canon camera. Do let us know what you think about this camera. As for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this. 
on your feed.